Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and the first big update to iOS 18 is finally here. iOS 18.1 brings a ton of new features. Of course, the first set of the Apple intelligence features for the iPhone 15 Pro and the 16 series and a lot of other improvements and fixes. But of course, among these new features and changes, there will be new settings as well. And of course, other settings that you need to change or configure the right way on your iOS 18.1 device. So we're starting the video with the first setting that you can find under the sign in and security section at your iCloud settings. Now we have a new way here to set your primary email. So let's say you have like a couple emails or maybe three or even more emails. You can now go ahead and go to one of them. You will have them as a list of course at the top of this page. You can go to one of them and then here you will be able to actually enable primary email for each email that you want. So you can easily set which will be your primary email. Another thing you can do here is add a new email or a phone number. That will be very easy. You will have here now a dedicated button. You tap right here, add email or phone number, and you will have the ability to choose which one you want to add. And you can quickly go ahead and add them from here. And if you have an iPhone with support for Apple intelligence features, or maybe even an iPad, then the first thing you want to do is of course, enable the new Apple intelligence features. Now to do that, you will need to go to settings, go under Apple intelligence and Siri, make sure first of all, you have enabled here language, English United States, and then you come back here and all you have to do is enable Apple intelligence and you're good to go. This is the way you enable Apple intelligence on your iOS 18.1 device. And of course, this is a setting everyone should change once they have their device updated to 18.1. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the new Apple intelligence features. The next thing you want to do here is right on this page, go to talk and type to Siri and make sure you have enabled type to Siri. With iOS 18.1, we have a great new feature where you will be able to actually type to Siri simply by double tapping here on the home bar. Now, previously what you had to do with other iOS versions, if you enable type to Siri, then you would basically use the same method as you use to invoke Siri the speaking mode and that would disable the speaking mode. You either had to choose typing or speaking. Now you have both of them and you can go ahead and enable right here, type to Siri simply by double tapping on the home bar. And while you're on this page right here, make sure that you also set up here the way you want to invoke Siri. So if you want to use the words to invoke Siri instead of just using the side button, but of course you can do all this all at the same time as you can see right here the setup that i have everything is enabled i can type here get siri here or maybe say the two words right there so you will have the hey word and then you will have just siri or just hey and you can just go ahead and select any of them and just enable whichever one you want to use now with iOS 18.1, Apple has also added a new focus mode. So what I need you to do is go ahead and go under focus here and then go to reduce interruptions. This is a new focus mode that has been added with 18.1 and it basically will use Apple intelligence to like just send things across when they're really important and silence things that are not important. But you can of course add here your own rules so you will have still the options here will have the people and the apps you can go ahead and choose any of them so go ahead and choose any people you want to always allow or maybe always block and then choose also your home screen and lock screen directly from here and if you want to add filters then you will be able to add filters as well another setting i suggest you enable is summarize notifications so head on under notifications and then right here will have summarize previews you enable it here and then you will have a list of all of the apps that you have notifications enabled for. So what you can do here is choose for which apps you wanna have summarized notifications. So if you don't wanna have summarized not notifications for all of the apps, then you can go ahead and just individually choose here for which apps you wanna summarize your notifications. And if you have a device that supports the new AI features of iOS 18.1, you can also go to privacy right here, scroll all the way down and you will find something called here, Apple intelligence report. You can go ahead and go here 
and this will allow it to actually export the activity of the apple intelligence features on your device and you can read all about it right here now the report duration will be the last 15 minutes but that's probably not a lot of data so you want to change that to seven days right there and now let's move on to some other settings that i suggest you should change on your ios 18.1 device if you haven't already first of all go to your battery go to charging and if you have this option on your device where you have the slider that allows you to adjust the charging limit i would suggest that you keep this at 90 percent in my opinion that's the best way to configure this so you'll get the most battery but still at the same time you're preserving the battery health of your device so the best would be keeping it at 90 percent Next up, we're moving to the camera settings. So head on under camera here and then go to record sound. This is a great setting that Apple has added with iOS 18. Enable right here, allow audio playback, which means that when you open the camera, it doesn't stop the audio playback on your device. And even if you start recording, it will still not stop it and you can record a video with music or anything playing in the background. Another great feature you wanna make sure that you have turned on on your device is the math results on the keyboard that's an amazing feature to have you can have math results anywhere on ios without needing to needing to go back to the calculator app the way to do that simply head on to your settings go under the general settings and then find the keyboard section right here and show math results will be right there one of the options make sure that you have it enabled and right here under the general settings you will also have the autofill and password settings what i suggest you do here a couple of things first of all you will have here a section for verification codes delete after use you want to enable this because you don't want to have your codes on your device stored if you already have used that you know that one of the codes can be used one time then it's gone so better have them deleted automatically and you can do that by simply enabling this option Another really important setting that you should have enabled on your device can be found right here under the password section. So go to your settings, go under apps and then go to passwords and here we'll have an option called detect compromised passwords. Now what this will do is that it will actually monitor your passwords that you have stored and see if any of them have been leaked or have been appeared on any leak and it will of course give you an alert for that so that's really really important so you need to make sure that you have detect compromised passwords turned on all the time moving back here and we're going under the accessibility settings and let's go here under siri we have some in interesting settings here to change first of all we have or require siri for interruptions so basically what you're doing by enabling this if Siri is speaking or giving you an, an answer, you can simply say the word, the hey word or whichever you use to actually interrupt Siri and then ask something else. That's really practical, so you need to have this enabled. And right here we'll have also another setting, listen for atypical speech. It will expand the speech patterns that Siri listens for. So basically, it will improve speech recognition from Siri to you. So when you're talking, if you stumble or something like that, it will actually wait for you and it will recognize what you're saying way better. So make sure you have that enabled as well. And right here under the accessibility settings, we also have a section for motion and we have here autoplay messages effects. Now, as you know, on iMessage with iOS 18, we have a ton of different effects for the text. I would suggest that you keep this off. It will actually just autoplay those all the time. And a lot of times you're probably running low battery or something like that. You don't want those animations right there just consuming unnecessary battery. So what I suggest you do in this case, head on to your settings, go under accessibility, then go to motion, autoplay message effects, make sure you have that turned off. And right here under the accessibility settings, we have a pretty cool feature, but I suggested to keep this off. It is called a vocal shortcuts. And unless you really need it, I suggested you turn it off. It is cool. Actually, you can do a lot of things simply by using words. So here I have a few that I had set up. If I would just say like lock, it would lock the rotation on my iPhone flashlight. It will turn on the flashlight right here have them set up but i have seen that once you have this enabled it will stay active all the time in the background always using your microphone just waiting for your command that means that it will actually consume a ton of battery 
So I suggest that you go ahead and completely turn it off. And last but not least is RCS messaging. Make sure you have this turned on. If your device supports it, it's a great feature to have. So head on to your settings, go under apps, go to messages, and right here where it says text messaging, it should say RCS messaging at the top. Of course, if your carrier does support it, if it does, make sure you have it turned on. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 18 really important settings that I suggest you should change or configure the right way on your iPhone on iOS 18.1. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.